and they come to me. They come to me for these mixed messages, hoping to see vestiges of the bridges that connect the gaps between Gil Scott and hip hop. And of course, my check one, two just don't stop. It keeps on. It's authentic. I could probably still break dance, pop lock and up rock. Like Biggie, if I said it, I meant it. Bite my tongue for no one. Call me evil, but don't never say I ain't real people. You can argue all night about who might write nicer than me, but you would still have to agree that my grind has no equal. That's why I've been studying brave new voices and college slams, trying to see if I can identify the sequel. See, I figure it has to be a junior since most of the varsity done going from writing bad poems to spreading bad rumors. They become cynics, and you'd have to think I was schizophrenic depending on who you ask. They claim I'm a bully, brutalizer, homosexual, money hungry, traveling whore, a cult believing womanizer. That's why people don't know me or so surprised to see me be me because they can't reconcile what they're seeing. They expect to see a nonsense talking egomaniac, but what they get is a soft spoken, quasi socially awkward human being. But at least when people are talking about you, people are talking about you. And they come to me. They come to me for these mixed messages, and I tell them I'll only get aggressive when I'm on stage, or for the very, very few people who could bring me to rage, and even that's just a if or a maybe, till I'm Macy, baby, I prefer to ignore long before I'm forced to declare war, and I ain't trying to be another statistic, and I can't believe that's what God put me on this earth for, and if I had to intimidate somebody, I would prefer to do it with my thoughts, besides, I can't afford to be caught slipping, because every time I show up a little off or different, the ignorant hit the internet net and immediately get the set tripping like i ain't been blending metaphors hyperbole homonyms imagery synonyms like wheat bread brown sugar margarine heat cinnamon honestly they must have forgot that i've already written four books and 16 cds i don't believe they even know what's gotten into them i just assume their own envy and jealousy be pimping them and I think I should just go ahead and finally buy that James Brown cape for all the times I wake up in my sleep after writing poems trembling like eclectic epileptics to lime AC Ben Wade measured and tested and continue to do everything to make sure that I remain the reign supreme as the mother king of mixed messages.